Hi there. Well, welcome to September favorites and not a moment too soon since it's already, I don't know, halfway through the month, but it's been a little hectic around here. Just when I thought things were kind of slowing down for us a little bit, then Hurricane Matthew had other plans. So we got through a power outage and two different internet outages several days apart. And here I am finally filming again, really happy to be doing it as well. I really wanted to share with you some footage from the whole hurricane experience and I got some vlogging done before the storm came through and then I realized I never picked up my camera again after that so it would be kind of a silly vlog but I might insert just a little bit of it here for you just to show you kind of what it was like to get prepared for that. Fortunately we did not have any major damage or not what we would consider major damage. Our roof is intact. Um, we lost electricity, but only for about 24 hours, which is no big deal. We lost the cable for a few days and then it came back, but then we had an issue just specific to our street. So we lost it again, but in any case, we really can't complain about that. Uh, my mother-in-law's house was also fine. She didn't have any damage. She just had some yard debris. So we were really happy about that. I think that was my biggest concern. That we finally got her into this house and settled and everything. And then here this hurricane comes through. And what was that going to mean? So we were just so grateful. We feel so very blessed that it was really no big deal. Uh, we ended up losing... Um, a section of the fence between our house and our neighbor's house. It literally just snapped in half at the posts and fell over. So we took that apart and dragged that off. Fortunately, our homeowners association takes care of that. We lost um, our gate to our backyard on the other side. Again, that'll be taken care of. Uh, so really, like I said, nothing we can complain about. And I think most people in our area would say about the same. It just really wasn't as catastrophic as we thought it was going to be, but I am still grateful that the weather people and the news people and stuff had us get prepared for it because you just never know what you're going to get with something like that. So also wanted to mention why my background is so plain right now is you've probably never heard this excuse on YouTube before, but the pictures that I had behind me were ruined by the hurricane, <laughs> not because they got any water damage, but because we lost power. We were at about 97% humidity with no rain and our house got really, really damp and I started noticing the pictures behind me started folding in and curving on themselves and not standing straight or flat in the frames anymore. So I've got to repair those or maybe I won't. Maybe I kind of like it this way because I've been noticing I've had a lot of problems getting my background straight when they were here. So I don't know. I might just repaint this a different color, freshen it up a little bit and then leave it as is. I haven't really decided yet. But if you're wondering why the background looks like that and where the pictures have gone, that is a true story. So, Anyway, let me go ahead and insert a little bit of the footage here for you, and then I'm going to come back to beauty and lifestyle favorites. And you know, the center is the worst, and a lot of that action would be onshore, giving us the major damage along the coast. That's why they're doing those evacuations. But yet, I am just going to go around and get started on this shutter situation here. So we've got all these little rubber things on these. So these are all the bolts that hold in the shutters. So I've just got to pull all these off. Of the windows and then my husband can actually put them into place. I can't really lift them um, so I need him to do that but so David's having to wear gloves because we had to spray tons of wasps that were up here in our windows and they've actually a couple of them come into the house but so he's wearing gloves uh, not because we need to be super hygienic here or anything but it is covered in wasp spray so we're battling a couple different things right now. So these are one of the more translucent shutters we're going to put on the front so we get a little bit of light coming into this window and then these are more like milk jug kind of you know they let a little bit of light in but not enough to really make it that big of a difference so these just pop right on to those little studs that I took all the tips off of earlier and then we will just bolt them on with the little wing nuts all right so as the second to the last one uh... We had a little bit of trouble. Now we got to finally figure out. <laughs> I know. We had them a little bit mislabeled or miscounted. We started in the wrong place. They were numbered. So we're going to label them be better this time. Though, next time around. This is <laughs> part of preparedness and we definitely... It's like putting up a Christmas tree. It's a little bit stressful. <laughs> okay, so our shutters are up. We're in a really kind of dark house now, but it's not too bad. And we are going to try to go out with my mother-in-law for dinner tonight. We feel like this is probably our last chance to have something good and we just got the five o'clock update that it's most likely going to make landfall just north of us. So we're a little more worried about it and everything, but um, 
doing the best we can and we're gonna make the most of tonight because we don't know what's gonna happen after tomorrow. So anyway, we thought we'd go out and have a good meal. So this is your first hurricane in your new house. What do you think? I think, I, I can't say what I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we're all thinking the same thing. I think it's very unfortunate and um, not looking forward to it, but yeah. we have survived other hurricanes and I hope to survive this one as well. <laughs> With the help of my, my two kids here. Yeah. We decided to come out for a nice dinner, so we are at Red Lobster because we said, as I probably mentioned before, we don't know what our next good meal is going to be, so I'm having shrimp linguine alfredo, and what are you going to have? I haven't you know? decided yet. So yeah. the rest of it would probably be peanut butter and jelly. So. Yeah, maybe peanut butter and jelly, so what do you think you're going to have, Mom? Um, Something very good and luscious, but I haven't decided, I haven't decided which yet. one. That's okay. So anyway, that's how we've decided to end our day, and that'll probably it, be it for tonight. Um, I think we're gonna just try to relax and wait till tomorrow and see what the forecast tracks bring. So we'll see you then. Okay, Bye. so before I get started on my beauty favorites, I just have to say very randomly, does anyone else ever have one of those days when you're pretty sure you didn't rinse the conditioner out of your hair? I am pretty sure today I forgot to rinse the conditioner out of my hair after I put it on. It is so limp and just, eh, this is the best I could do. I just took my straightener to it and tried to smooth it out a little bit. But anyway, I just wonder if I'm the only one that does that. I, every once in a while, I'll get out and start blow drying my hair and it'll just feel really fine and limp and I'll think, I, don't, I probably did not rinse that conditioner out, and that's really why it's so soft and limp. But anyway, that aside, let me go ahead and get into my beauty favorite. So the first one I want to talk to you about is something I post on Instagram. It's what I'm wearing today. This is a new lipstick I picked up over the summer, but just started wearing in fall. This is Urban Decay Back Talk. This is part of their new lipstick line, their revamped line. They have some of the similar colors that they had before and then some new colors, although I think there's been a little bit of formulation tweaking. So this is a color that I really loved when I swatched it and then when I got it home and put it on I kind of wasn't sure about and then I ended up loving it again. It's much cooler than what I would typically wear. So you can see it kind of has a purpley mauve tone to it. I usually gravitate toward more warm lipsticks. Think more like a matte Cosmo or um, any kind of warm pinky nude is usually what I like. But this one I think is really pretty for fall and it kind of goes with the gray tone eyeshadows I really like to wear. Bobbi Brown is an annual favorite of mine, the Bobbi Brown Slate Eyeshadow, so that's what I'm wearing today. I think it goes well with that and then a cool pink blush. So let me go ahead and just swatch this for you. So here it is. I just think it's a really pretty feminine pink color. It's got nice coverage. It wears very well. It is a, I believe this is considered a matte finish. Yes, it is a comfort matte as they're calling it. So it doesn't dry out the lips at all and it's really a pleasure to wear. I am definitely going to go back and pick up more of these. I am almost out of my original naked lipstick from Urban Decay that I love and so I'd like to get the new formula and see what that's like. And I should also mention I've been wearing this with Rimmel, um, East End Snob Lip Liner, and it pairs really well with it. It's like a perfect match. So just thought I would mention that. Let me go ahead and get this off. So I did want to talk to you about another lip product as well, and this one I can't take credit for because it was a recommendation from Kim at the Hip Chick Online, and I think I just talked about something else recently that she posted. Maybe it was Revitalash, but she's got some great recommendations and I was looking for a new lip balm when she mentioned this, and I am so in love with it. So this is from Bioderma. It's the Atoderm Stick Hydrant Lip Balm Moisturizing Stick. What I love about this is that it doesn't have any flavor to it. It doesn't have any color to it. This is just a really great hydrating lip balm. It does have a very, very faint smell to it. I want to say it's maybe raspberry, maybe strawberry. I can't quite tell. I don't know, something keeps telling me raspberry with this. It's not something that you taste though, and you don't really notice it after you've applied it, but in the stick, in the tube, it does have just the faintest hint of something. But this is such a great lip balm. I was really disappointed, as you may remember, from the Lip Sill lip balm. I think I have that here, the Ultra Soothing. Um, I also wanted to mention, I did contact the company about this, and they never got back to me, so I don't know if this has been completely discontinued, but the Ultra Soothing version with this yellow cap that I love, I can't find any more anywhere around me. So I was looking for a replacement for that. 
when Kim mentioned this Bioderma product and this is great. I ordered it on Amazon and it came in a two pack and it was actually hot when I ordered it here, but it came through just fine and really has held up well. So I've got one here in my drawer. I apply this every day and I've got one in my purse and I will definitely be repurchasing it. It is a great product. Okay, so something else I didn't have any intention of trying, but I ended up really liking. I was on the hunt over the summer for some of the Bliss products, specifically the Micro Magic at TJ Maxx stores, since I knew some of you had been finding the products there. So I went to several different TJ Maxx, and I never did find the Bliss product I was looking for, but I did find this Copper Tone Clearly Sheer Faces for Sunny Days, and this is SPF 30. I had seen this advertised quite a bit over the summer, and um, I really kind of had forgotten about it, but then once I saw it at TJ Maxx, it was a really good price. I think they had it for under $5. It wasn't much. So this is a two ounce size, and it does have a pump dispenser, which is really nice for sunscreens. Um, so I figured it wasn't too much of a risk to try it, but it leaves a really nice soft finish on your skin. It is invisible, so it doesn't create a white cast. Let me actually, I should put this on my hand and then just rub it in and show you a little bit. So it is white when you pump it out. And then as you rub it in, it really dries down to an invisible finish. And I don't really notice, this is probably the only sunscreen product I've ever used that I forgot that I had it on. I was wearing this quite a bit when we were preparing for the hurricane and afterward because we spent a lot of time outdoors. And I just really thought it was so comfortable and I just completely forgot I was wearing it. And most things, even if I like the formula, I can still kind of feel that it's there. And I liked that how sheer this was and that it just didn't show any anything on my skin. As far as fragrance, um, it does have, gosh, such a light fragrance. I would say it's probably a pretty typical suntan lotion type of smell or sunscreen smell, I should say, but it's really, really light. And again, not something I smelled after I applied it. So I think that even if you are somewhat fragrance sensitive, this would be okay for you. But I really enjoy this and I might get the SPF 50 next summer, but I think this one will last me for a little while, but really impressed and especially for the price. In addition to my beauty product favorites this month, I also had a couple of fails. And one was a really, really big fail for me. And one of them was a really big surprise fail for me. So the one that was probably my least favorite product of the month was this L'Oreal Elnet Satin Hairspray. I know this came to the US a few years ago. It's been popular in Europe for a long time, but I never got around to trying it. So I saw this small travel size at Target. Now I will say uh, in advance, this is not the unscented version. This is just the original version, the extra strong hold, but this is the worst smelling hairspray I have ever personally used. I thought, how I'd heard it didn't smell good, but I thought, well, how bad could it be? It's just hairspray and then it's going to dry and it's no big deal, but I can't even finish this. I do like the formula. It does have a really nice fine mist and perhaps the unscented version is okay. Although I've kind of heard that that one still has a bit of a smell to it, but I definitely would not repurchase this again. I just, I don't know. I think it kind of smells like bug spray is the best way I can describe it. It's probably one of the worst things I've ever put in my hair ever, um, which is a shame because the formula is nice. But anyway, I thought that I had to mention that in case you were curious about it and wanted to try it too. Not something that I will purchase again. So my surprise fail of the month is something that I am so shocked that I'm talking to you about because it's something I've mentioned in a previous video as being a holy grail product of mine. I, um, as I've mentioned, have been using Revitalash for the last few months, which I am super impressed with and owe you a video on. So I've been wanting to experiment with mascaras again and kind of find old loves and maybe new things. So I purchased the It Cosmetics Hello Lashes at Ulta. And I have to say, I don't know if it was just this tube or my lashes have changed, but this did not work for me at all this time. There is nothing that I like about this formula. It does not do for me what it used to. And again, I don't know if my lashes have changed, if the formula's changed, it's just I've just got a bad tube of it. But for the price, I probably won't try it again. So the funny thing about having this experience with a higher end mascara and being really disappointed is it's drawn me back to an old love of mine, which is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme. This is so inexpensive. It's available at Walgreens and I believe Kmart also, if you have one of those near you. But this 
is such a good standby mascara. It's just very straightforward. This is not the waterproof version. I've had the best luck with this original version. Uh, so between this and my Maybelline Full and Soft, I've got two mascaras that are well under $10 and they are right now performing the best for me out of any of the higher end mascaras that I've previously used. So I'm probably gonna still experiment with some higher end mascaras because I do like trying different products. But anyway, it was just kind of funny that it's brought me back full circle to a drugstore mascara that I happen to really love. Moving into my lifestyle favorites, I have a variety of things to share with you as I always do. So the first thing is something I had been holding on to to share with you for a while now, and then I think it got thrown away after I had to clean out my fridge from Hurricane Matthew. So I'm just gonna have to insert a picture for you. These are the Sargento cheese snacks that I've really been loving. I saw these either on a TV commercial or in a magazine ad, and I really wanted to try them, but my grocery store didn't have them for a while. They finally got them in, and. I've really been enjoying them. They are just a cute little snack size bite of cheese. They're great on a cracker or on their own. My favorite is the urban garlic. I also tried the chipotle. I think it's Colby chipotle flavor. It was a little spicy. There would be some bites that weren't as spicy and there would be other bites that were just a little bit too much for me. But if you like that spice, you might really enjoy it. But overall, I'm really enjoying the line and I think I might like to try the other flavor that they have as well. But if you're curious about these, I think they're really good. I like the herb and garlic a lot because I do think it does have a nice herby flavor to it and not just a garlicky flavor, which can be sometimes overpowering. So I've been really snacking on those a lot with crackers and things. I think it's just a really nice snack. And especially if you want portion control, you can get quite a few little pieces of cheese for not very many calories and they taste very good. So one other food item that I wanted to share with you is a new spice slash seasoning that I've been loving. I was looking for sort of a new multi-purpose seasoning at my grocery store and I came across this. So this is the Olive Garden Garlic and Herb Seasoning. Now that I've found it, I have been using it on so many different things. I have a pork dish in my crock pot for tonight's dinner and this is a really great seasoning for that. It's just very all-purpose. They have on the label that you can use it for pizza, pasta, chicken, and soup. And I've used it for so many different things. It does have garlic in it. Uh, let's see, it also has dehydrated onion, sherry wine powder. So it's got a few different flavors in there. I think predominantly the garlic comes through, but then you do get the other... Um, uh, aromas of herbs and seasonings in there as well. But again, just something really nice to have on hand. What I like is that it had a little bit lower sodium content than some of the other all-purpose seasonings we've used, like maybe a Lowry's. This has, let's see, 65 milligrams per serving, which is a quarter teaspoon. And I compared that to some other labels and it was quite a bit lower. So we've been trying to make a very concerted effort to lower sodium in our diet. And so when I saw this, that it was a little bit better, it was just one of those things that we could swap out. So I've really been liking it for that. So I would definitely recommend it. Okay, so the next thing I bought, this was so not a necessity, but just something really fun that I wanted to purchase based on our experience at some local restaurants. So when we've been going out to Mexican restaurants lately, Everyone seems to have a taco stand for the tacos now. And I absolutely love the idea. I like that your tacos don't have to lay on top, top of the rice and beans anymore and get soggy. And so I really wanted to get these at home as well. So I just ordered this little four pack. I think I got these through Amazon. It is just called Taco Stand Up, the fun way to serve tacos. I've been saving the packaging so that I could show this to you. But the great thing about them is you can use them one at a time. You can use them two at a time. They are a little bit tough to get together. Together, but you just pull them apart and then you can slide them right back on so these have like a little channel you can slide them together so you can use two you can use four we usually eat two tacos at a time and I have used these with soft tacos and crunchy tacos and they work well for both the website here says tacostandup.com but these are just really fun and I thought I would mention it because it is something that was definitely not something that we needed but now that we have them we've been getting quite a bit of use out of them and I really like them and wanted to share. 
Okay, the next favorite that I want to talk to you about is something that my parents had at their house when we were visiting, and I knew right away that I wanted to order one for us, so I had it delivered to my house, and it was here by the time we got home. So this is a litter scoop, and I will say that this has been completely sanitized, soaked in bleach, everything before anybody gets grossed out from me showing this. I totally sanitized this thing before I brought this to you. But this is called the Litter Lifter. So my mom had this and I was cleaning out the litter box one day for her and I noticed that this thing just did a really good job. It's got a really wide surface area as you can see. And I guess one of the things that they mentioned in their product is that these tines are actually peaked. So they're thinner at the top and wider at the bottom which helps the litter go through more easily. And I've also noticed they're more widely spaced than our other litter scoop that we've had. So I just found this really really easy to use it was under ten dollars i don't believe you get to choose your color i think you just order it and they send you whichever color but it's a very nice comfortable handle as you can see it's a very large scoop and i will save you the demonstration in my litter box but i just wanted to show you this because i thought it was really neat and i also saved the label on this it just says the litter lifter magic scoop cleans in seconds easily saves 30 to 72 hours a year i don't know if that's true or not but anyway that's what it looks like and i can say that i've really enjoyed it and i think it's made cleaning out our litter box a lot easier all right so my final lifestyle favorite is something i really debated about about showing you because I'm not sure that I can direct you to exactly where you can purchase it, which is kind of silly for a favor, but I still wanted to show it to you just in case you were able to find it locally. So this is the new handbag that I've been carrying this fall. This is from a brand called Mystique. It's M-I-Z-T-I-Q-U-E. I'm going to try to list uh, to their Amazon boutique down below. I could not find this exact bag to share with you, but I did purchase this at TJ Maxx. So if you have a TJ Maxx near you, you might be able to find this. At my store, they tend to group bags by color. And the only thing I know about this is that it's in the color gray. I saved all of the packaging and nothing really gave me a style number or style name other than just gray. But I have to say for the price, this was $29.99. It has been an excellent bag. And this is definitely the least expensive bag I've purchased in years and years and years. Um, I'm not what I would say a bag snob at all, but I do like quality bags. So it's usually what I, what I gravitate toward because I like the look of them. I like the feel of them. But this one I've been super impressed with. It's definitely changed my mind about purchasing less expensive bags. I like the zipper on the front here. So this is where I will keep things I want to get to quickly. And then it's also got a zippered section here on the back and it has a long strap and then it's got these two handles. I've been pretty much carrying it as a satchel with the two handles. The other thing I really love about it is the lining. It has such a pretty soft lining. I just thought that that was really impressive, especially at this price point. It's got pockets. It's got another zipper pocket inside. I don't know what's in here because I didn't clean out this bag before. But anyway, I just thought I would share it with you. Hopefully you can still find it. I know that they had other bags from this brand when I was at TJ Maxx. And again, I will put the Amazon link down below. They had a different, uh, few different bags that they listed on Amazon. So if you'd like to take a look at that. But this one I've really been enjoying. And I just, for the price, I love it. I love that I cannot feel guilty about maybe getting another bag as well and having a few of them to carry throughout the season. So those are all of my beauty and lifestyle favorites for the month of September. I thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.